Hello guys, full time at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 2, Arsenal 4. Hands up if you saw that one coming. I have to admit, not sure I did. Um, but, you know, <laughs> football has a habit of surprising you. Arsenal lose three games you'd probably expect them to win, or certainly give a good account of themselves in. They come to Stamford Bridge and get a massive result, one that potentially could resuscitate their season. It really does breathe life into our hopes and aspirations of uh, claiming one of those European places, particularly in the top four. The away fans, they still believe. They believe from minute one, seeing Mikel Arteta's name right through to the end of the game. Great scenes again at full time. It's a big result and credit to the manager. He made some big changes today. Brought in El Nenny, brought in Rob Holding. Played with, you know, at the start what looked like a back three system, bit of a hybrid at times with Saka, right wing back, and then other times Ben White in that space. Gave Eddie Nketiah another start, but what a reward he got. Two goals for Eddie against the club who released him as a boy when he was deemed too small. He's waited a long time for another Premier League goal. He's got a couple tonight and uh, he'll be absolutely over the moon with that. And to be fair, difficult to take him out of the team after what he's done. His work rate off the ball, he's, crucially his goal scoring instincts in the box. So why were Arsenal better tonight? I think that's the big question. The first thing I'll tell you is I'm not sure they were dramatically better than they've been. I know the result is much better, but I, I do have this sense that I know I didn't do a video after the Southampton game, but I did watch it. I thought Arsenal were very unlucky to lose that one. I think Arsenal have not been getting the breaks in their own penalty area and in the opposition's penalty area. And tonight, on balance, they did. But credit to Nketiah, he made those breaks happen with his hard work, with his hard running, with his goal-scoring instincts. Um, fantastic from him. What a goal from Emil Smith-Rowe tonight as well, who provided a really timely reminder of his ability, his potential. You know, he's been playing second fiddle really to Martinelli a lot in the second half of the season. I think he showed tonight how good he could be and I love that sort of snooker cue finish into the far corner. Um, look, we were gifted the opening goal. Eddie worked hard, did well to tuck it away. Then we conceded a very sloppy one. Eddie was involved in it, conceding possession. I think Shaq was caught on his heels a bit. Ramsdale probably would want to do better with the shot despite the deflection. Then we got in front again, that brilliant Smith Rowe goal gave away another infuriating timing. Went in at half time and in fairness came out in the second half and looked very committed, very organised and very threatening on the break. And ultimately we made it pay. We capitalised on Chelsea's defensive errors, of which there were plenty. You know, um, an interesting comparison really. Christensen, he's right off contract at the end of the season, looks like he's going to Barcelona. And the Chelsea fans aren't having him at all. We came off at half time, he was basically booed by his own fans. They were chanting for Thiago Silva, he had a nightmare. Eddie, well, it looks like he's going somewhere too, but without that move, move lined up, he's got all the motivation in the world. And it came off for him tonight at long last. Very, very pleased for him. Um, and what about late on, finishing it off with uh, that Saka penalty? Real guts, real courage to take it. Apparently had a little slip in the run-up, but put it away nonetheless. Thank God, I don't think my heart could have taken any other outcome. 4-2, it'll be a famous result. And um, credit to the manager, credit to the team. They've responded to the criticism. This is a result very few people anticipated. And it changes the complexion of the running. Manchester United on Saturday, they're coming off a very poor result against Liverpool. We'll be expecting a response from them. I know it's Ronaldo's back in training. But Arsenal will feel a lot better going into that game. And how much of what Arteta found tonight will he stick with? I think quite a lot. El Nenny, break glass in case of emergency. If you need Mohamed El Nenny to steady the ship, he did that tonight. Rob Holding, look, on the ball, he had his moments where he didn't look too solid, but defensively he was good. Won a lot of duels in his own box. Um, Nuno, credit to Nuno. He's re-established his place in the side. Again, iffy moments. Probably could have done better on the second goal. But playing with a bit of confidence again. And never write off a player, never think it's over for a player. There's always a way back. And I'm pleased that Arteta seems to recognise that for Nuno. And Nuno seems to be willing to work hard to get there too. Um, fantastic scenes at full time, great atmosphere, great to be here. As you know, my brother's a Chelsea fan, so uh, it's particularly sweet for me. Um, yeah, loved it. I do like this team, you know, that's the thing. And that's why we're all so down after the three defeats, because we like this team, we believe in them, we want them to do well. They keep doing things that make us think there is something there. And Arteta, when he needs a result, he pulls it out the bag. There's something happening with this group. Is it going to be enough for the top four? I don't know. But the conversation is alive, thanks to the performance we've seen tonight. Get in, come on, Arsenal.